Hello and welcome to From Books to Big Screen. This is episode two. Let's go to Narnia. I'm here with my friend Katie and she's read and also watched The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. For namesake, I'm just going to call it Narnia because yes. it's just shorter. So I remember the movie like opening up with a scene of them in London and they were all happy and stuff. And then in the book, they're talking about war and bombings and they were hiding mm-hmm. from the bombings. And I, why do you think they did that? Like they changed it for kids maybe? Yeah, I would say for kids and for time purposes. Yeah. Because I think they did actually a really good job of condensing the whole first book into this movie. Because there's a lot that happens in the book. And I think it, they did a, a good job of making it cohesive. Yeah, I feel like a lot of things they left out were necessary to leave out. Like, simple things. And some changes I actually liked. Like, for example, in the book, the white witch has black hair and wears a gold crown. But then in the movie, oh, yeah, she has that, white. like, almost, like, bleach blonde, really light Makes blonde hair. Icy. And she has, like, a crown of ice. I think it looks so cool. <laughs> she, d- I think we talked about that in our one class. It made her look scarier. Yeah. Like, more And it went sinister. with the winter and the snow around. So I think that was, like, a really good change. I think the character development was interesting. Um, I guess the main characters were Lucy, Edmund, Aslan, Aslan, Mr. Tumnus, my favorite, um, Susan, Peter, and then the White Witch. But I think they made certain characters, like, annoying in the movie. Okay. What do you mean? <laughs> like, I, like, I think Lucy was really likable in the book, and then when they made her in the film, they kind of made her, like, naggy and stuff. I could see that. She was so cute, like, such a cute little kid, (laughs) but I do understand what you mean by that, and then she kind of just got on Edmund's nerves. Edmund was kind of He was crazy, right? And (laughs) Susan looked like a 45-year-old, even though she was... Yeah, they did not do that casting No, she looked really old. I think the rest of them looked as much similar to the book, like they were described as, besides the White Witch, which made more sense. And then, what was, like, one of your favorite scenes that you think... Oh, was adapted well, well. So when I was younger, I there were a very few amount of movies that I would just watch <laughs> over, over again. and over again. And this was on that list. So I've seen Narnia a bunch of times. And my favorite scene is when Edmund meets the White Witch for the first time. Yes. She has like her huge carriage and her weird little elf guy. And Edmund <laughs> wants Turkish delight. Yes. And she, it just pops out of nowhere. It's in this, like, cool crystal container. <laughs> and then he gets powdered sugar all over his face. And I don't know. I always like that scene because... That is cute. It showed, like, her magic powers. But it was also, she was, like, like... manipulating him. Yeah, she very much manipulated him because then he kind of trusted her after that. And that makes bad decisions. But <laughs> that's my favorite scene. I love, like, the winter landscape. Yeah, I like when Lucy first goes to Narnia and she opens the door and it's all snow. Mm-hmm. It was really pretty. And then, I think the way she discovered Narnia was different. In the book, they were playing, like, hide-and-seek, and and then in the movie, she was... She was just wandering wandering around. Um, and then, is there anything that you think they did in the movie that they shouldn't have done, like, negatively? Hmm. I can't think of anything that was a big disappointment. No, because I really think the the little changes didn't really affect much. It didn't make, like, huge plot changes or character changes, so... You know, the changes didn't really bother me. Like you said, Lucy was a little annoying, but at the same time, I thought she was adorable. Um, And Mr. Tumnus was also a really awesome character. And that was actually the first time, like, I remember I was so young, but, like, seeing James McAvoy act. Now, like, I've seen him in so many things, and he's, like, one of my favorite actors. I forget Um, that's him. He's from Split, right? Yeah. I forget that's him. He's a really underrated actor. He's very versatile. Yes. And then the only other thing that I noticed was, like, Aslan, who's the lion. I feel like in the book he was really heroic and, like, they looked up to him. And in the movie they did that as well, but they kind of made him more, like, a little bit cowardly, I think. The scene in the movie when Uh, he gets stabbed, I could, I had to look away when I was a kid because it hurt me so much. And I'm not even, like, a cat person, but... <laughs> a lion, though. I, I'm an animal person. I was, like... It looks so real, too. That's another thing I was going to mention. I think the special CGI effects... CGI was good. Yeah, the CGI of Aslan for that time was, like, really good. Even, like, the fighting scenes, mm-hmm. like, the amount of people looked kind of real. Yeah. And is there anything else that you want to talk about about Narnia? Mm-hmm. I did see the other... I think there's three total. 
I've never seen the other two. There's have you read Prince the books? Prince Caspian and something else. No, I have all the books. I just didn't read all of them. <laughs> um, but the other two are not as good as the first one. And they kind of get worse as you go. Like, the second I one's figured. already... Third one's bad. So I wouldn't recommend those unless you read all the books and want to watch whatever movies there are. Mm-hmm. But if you just want to see the good ones, see the first one. I think the book was, like, so... It was obviously a children's book. But it's, like, so easy to go through because it's so... Like, you want to keep reading it. And yeah, really and the movie's it. not, like, just a kid's movie, too. Like, anyone can really enjoy the movie. Yes. Okay, well, thank you for joining You're me. You're welcome. That was from Books to Big Screen, Episode 2, Let's Go to Narnia. Thanks for listening.